Hey guys, so this is going to be a video about all the products that I regret buying and I hate and I wish I wouldn't have bought. Now my intention is not to bitch about any product but these are just my personal experiences that I had with these products. Maybe they would react differently with different people but for me these products were, they just didn't work out. The first product that I would like to mention is this concealer by Lakme Absolute. To be very honest, when the range was launched and Karina being the brand ambassador and everything, I really thought this would be a good product. But what I don't like about this product is that it's uh, not very glidable. Like if you see, you can't really, it's not very blendable. You can't really blend it easily. It just kind of makes a very chalky appearance on your face. It's not as good as other contemporary products in the market currently and maybe I even picked up the wrong shade or whatever the reason might be but for some reason this thing just didn't really work for me and so I really regret buying it. So if you're planning to buy a Lakme Absolute Concealer make sure you go to the store two three times test it out two three times wear it on for seven to eight hours and see how much it stays and just see how you feel and only then go and invest in this product otherwise i don't recommend buying this product the second product that i don't like and i regret buying is a color tattoo eyeshadow from maybelline this product really didn't work out that well for me the only reason being first is that the color payoff as an eyeshadow is not that great because this cannot this does not blend so easily again the blending problem is there this does not blend so easily like you see it just stays on there and it, it kind of looks very stainy it's not very blendable the product keeps gliding with every movement you make with your finger the second thing is that this product has started drying out if you see it's not been long since I bought it. I bought this product in January and it has only been five months and it has completely dried out. I personally like Maybelline, but this product I didn't like. I was expecting it to seriously last at least a year, but it completely dried out. So, and it's very flaky. So I don't recommend this product. The next product that I absolutely regret buying is by Bourjois and it is their foundation pen. The mechanism is awesome, but the formulation inside sucks. This is a click pen. So what you basically do, it comes with a brush attached. So you basically just click it and the product comes out. And what I don't like about this foundation is the fact that the formula is very, very cakey. It's very gunky. The coverage is almost minimal. Like you have a lot of caked foundation gunked on your face and there is no coverage at all. So that's a really funny situation for me. So if you're planning to buy this foundation, please reconsider. Now the next product that I regret buying is this conditioner from Body Shop. This is banana conditioner. First of all, I hate the smell of banana. I just don't like it. And this has the typical banana smell. Secondly, uh, I really didn't like what it did to my hair. It claims that it'll make your hair really, really soft and everything. But the very reason why I use a conditioner is because I had a lot of frizzy hair. So I don't want my hair to be all frizzed up. I want a conditioner that can tame them down. But this really did nothing. This actually did nothing for my hair. In fact, my hair felt a little heavier after using it. And uh, I don't know. It just didn't work for me. Maybe it might work for different hair types, but for me, a big no. So I don't recommend it. Okay, now the next products. I've had a long love-hate relationship with these products. These are by TG, the Bedhead series. And this is actually the high definition curl series because I've had really, really curly hair. So uh, this was actually recommended to me by the lady there at the salon. To be very honest, I like the shampoo uh, the conditioner i didn't like because it just did not make my curls defined the way they say that this is actually a, it has curl boosting shots in it and it will define your curls and other things like that this technically did nothing for my curls i think i was better using a regular l'oreal shampoo or something else that would have defined my curls better so i did not like it 
the second thing that i didn't like about this product was the smell now this has a very exceptionally sweet candy like pina colada kind of a smell so if you are a fan of that malibu flavor smell i mean i like malibu kind of smells but this is a bit too much so if you don't mind smells that make you cough instantly please go and buy it but if you are if you not a fan of those kind of smells then reconsider you know before buying it these are from the ultra facial uh, line of products from keels so these products are basically fragrance free i don't know how keels has worked for other people but for me i didn't really feel much of a difference the face wash is actually fine um this does not dry out your skin but this doesn't do much for your skin as well i mean i think you can achieve the same results using a much cheaper product than this so if you are planning to invest in a high end luxurious skincare brand i think you should definitely consider some other brands other than keels the keels ultra facial toner whatever smell this product has i don't know it just smells really really weird it just smells like chalk diluted in water and the effect is also something like that maybe if somebody has an excessively oily skin this might work for them oh actually you know what my husband likes this product but for some reason i just don't like it. i'm not outrightly rejecting these two products but i'm saying uh if you could request for samples and use them for a week and see how you feel only then buy it because these are really expensive products and you don't want your money to be just you know stagnated in products that you're not going to use the last product that i seriously regret buying is this deodorant by nivea when i bought this product i bought it because it smelled really fresh and i would love to smell like this while i'm working out in the gym or you know while i'm going out for a walk or something i would like to smell like this this has tones of lemon grass the fragrance and everything is okay but what the hell is this see i'll just show you do you see that this forms a white coating now you'll be wondering that okay white coating is formed by most of the deodorants these days that don't have acetone or whatever that product is but this actually sticks on you know this product sticks on to your skin so i remember actually spraying it on my neck and then i've had that little patch of spray even though i tried to blend it with my hands stayed on for months and it would just not go because it turns into a very rubbery kind of a substance and this product seriously i mean see it just stays like that it just stays like that i was highly disappointed in this product i loved the fragrance but i didn't like whatever formulation they used i have also used uh, powder uh, formulated deodorants from dove they are awesome they have made my skin actually soft but this product i didn't like so this brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys found this video informative and it will help you taking better decisions shopping and please share with me the worst products that you've bought and products that you regret buying so i can also benefit from your experiences and uh, comment below let me know if there are any other requests or product reviews that you would like me to do i would love to do them also please rate this video if it was helpful and please subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned with all the updates and other videos that i post regularly and i'll see you all later bye hey guys click on the videos to find out what are my favorite products and please subscribe to my channel